Welcome back to Weg's Garage, where we are once again working on our 1964 Triumph TR4. And Triumph fans, today we got something we got to talk about. It's this flimsy cardboard radiator shroud. What the heck were they thinking? Well, today we are going to show you what we don't like about this thing, and then we're going to come up with something way better. Stay tuned. All right, so this is the radiator shroud that we have. I believe, well, this is not the original for the car. This is a replacement one that we bought at some point in the car's history. It is, I think, a reproduction of the original Triumph part. Uh, and it's made of like this kind of fiber board material. Uh, the other side's actually kind of shiny with like a textured leather surface on it. And I don't know why you would have that on the inside where you can never see it. But, uh, you know, from day one, we've not been terribly impressed with this. Uh, it doesn't seem very durable. It's sagging in the center there and you can see that it blocks part of the front of the radiator i don't think it's that durable i think over the years this is going to get worse i think with humidity and heat and stuff this business isn't going to get any better and i kind of like what i'm seeing with this actually being made out of metal and aluminum would probably be the best shot at it what we want to do is get rid of this thing, uh, which is ugly, and replace it with a real cool homemade aluminum radiator shroud. So we're going to get into some fabrication today on Weg's Garage. Oh yeah. That's what we do. So first things first, we're going to get this thing out of here. All right, so, so far, here's what we got. We've done some templating with some cardboard here. And this piece fits quite nicely in here, uh, like so. So that will be one piece. Uh, we've left it so it's a little bit wider than the radiator uh, in the front, just like the old one. So that'll let just a little bit of extra air back into the engine. Uh, but most of it will be directed at the radiator. Uh, so now we just got to make some templates for these uh, kind of two opposite side pieces. And then we can use those to uh, get the rough dimensions of our aluminum pieces. So we won't uh, end up wasting a bunch of aluminum doing this. So that's where we're at. We'll get those sides done and then start cutting metal. Here are our highly technical cardboard templates. Uh, so we have basically, it's gonna be made of three pieces. Uh, the sides are both the same. Uh, so that we only made one of those templates cause you can just put it on either end, basically make two of those. Uh, but yeah, dad will show you the way she fits up kind of like like so. So this template does not include the uh, allowances for any of the bends 
uh, or any of the flanges that we need to put on here. This is just the rough dimensions. So now we're going to transfer that to our material and start getting those other allowances added on there and start laying everything out. Putting our bed lines on here so we're ready to take it to the brake and we gotta make notches for the corners. make two side panels and get it fitted up. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. I don't like that. Here's where we're at. We got our top piece installed and it's looking really good. Really like how this fits up in here. Uh, you can see the three uh, screws in the top. We used like these Tinnerman clips on the uh, three spots on there. I think that's probably what Triumph originally used there uh, to hold it in place. So that's all set. Uh, looks really good. The aluminum is shiny. Looks cool. So that looks like it's all pretty much good to go. Now we just need to make the side pieces to fit on here. Uh, and there's a couple of obstacles there. Obviously we already got our ca cardboard template, but we're also going to have a little flange that goes over to catch these bolt holes on the sides here and then it also has to have a little notch for this here uh, bumper support rod that goes up to the front so we'll set to work on that soon enough that's going to do it for today uh, next week we'll be back to do those side pieces turn our cardboard template into a finished product and hopefully finish up this whole radiator uh, duct project so we can move on to the next thing. I think it's going to look really cool under there with the shiny aluminum and uh, it's going to be pretty cool. So looking forward to that. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, find us on Instagram, do all that good stuff and we will see you next time. Later!